म्यूट करता हूँ इसको यूट्यूब को Yes. Yes, sir. I think now we are live. Me too. Yep, we are live. Yep, we are live. Okay. Yes, you are all good to go. Super Prabhat. Must. Hey, Sham. Good morning. Vignesh. Hey, Sham. Good morning, sir. Hi, sir. Long time, Sham. How are you? Sham. Good morning. I'm good, sir. I'm good. बहुत दिन बाद आपका आपका दर्शन क्यों नहीं हो पा रहा है? सर दर्शन में कि इसलिए मैं बनिया नहीं हूँ अरे ये तो आज एकदम तो पूरा सुपर yes. संडे में कौन है आप सबरदस्त ऑल वेल ना शाम ऑल गोइंग गुड यस सर वेल एट होम गुड लव यू गुड ओनली या सुपर सो रियाज इज ऑफ रेड या रेड क्यूब वेलकम वेलकम एवरीवन फंटास्टिक यस दादा आप स्टार्ट कीजिए All right. So good morning and good evening to all of you who are out of India, like Rajesh's friends from Canada. If you are joining from there or the other part of the world, wherever you are, I hope you are doing well. You are fit and fine and in good shape, ready to roll for a fantastic Sunday ahead. I am sure a lot of you must have had an early wake up this morning because Copa America was happening and and the and the finals were not to be missed when the script had uh, Argentina and Brazil. Uh, as the lead characters you cannot miss that story at all so uh, so finally messi messi has a trophy to take back home had a lovely morning so we aa jao asli animated uh, games to bhi hum sunne wale hain as a continuation from our first session with the one and only rajesh chakravarty who has joined us all the way from vancouver in canada rajesh welcome once again and uh, what a joy and thrill it was for all of us to have uh get to get to hear your stories uh, you know last time uh, i'll just give a quick little uh flash what do you call that catch up mai kya kehta hu usko recap recap yeah i'll give you a quick <laughs> little recap of what we had last time so basically rajesh took us through his very 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 colorful childhood uh, which were all we were all completely stunned to listen to his adventures of you know truck riding and uh, doing all kinds of things you can imagine uh, but most of all to keep to to nurture the passion that he has so strongly for art for the crafts that he practiced and uh, we followed him through his stories it was just fascinating uh, we went up to the point where rajesh you had uh, gotten into the national institute of design after a lovely time at uh, the government art college and then uh, nid had begun and you were officially an animator in the making and before you were officially a professional you had made a fantastic film called dhak which all of us uh, still drool over and enjoy it again and again uh, so we had the, the the pleasure of watching the film and uh, that was the last session and we knew that was only a very very small part of the journey of uh, rajesh's life that we have uh, we got to see last time so we thought the second part was absolutely mandatory there couldn't have been any other option but to have rajesh for the uh, second uh, second part of his fabulous journey so rajesh welcome once again uh, on behalf of tasi and everybody uh, even remotely associated with animation it's always a pleasure to look at your work look at your paintings so welcome rajesh thank you so much uh, thanks prasun uh, thanks uh, prasun ji the uh, thanks very much well. thanks tasi for <laughs> listening to my you know never ending stories and uh, hopefully i'll be able to finish it this time uh, but you know it's been yeah rajesh uh, so this time i think we should take up from where you left last time and uh, you can ride us through some of the journey that happened at nid during the making of the film after the film and your graduation projects and your experiences there then we are very keen to see or listen from you the two parts that is getting into life as an animation professional and then that journey overseas how did all that happen so aaj hum pura wo masala sunne wale hain so all yours rajesh enjoy have fun thank you um so 
last time uh, we ended where uh, you know I was about to get into NIT and uh, NIT happened. Uh, I must tell you a story before I get into NIT because that's like one of my um, what should I say? It's the most exciting part of getting into NIT for me. Um, uh, Pravin Mishra, he's my senior. Uh, he he was uh, the one who helped me, you know, uh, show what NID could do, and that's how I got into NID. Um, <clears throat> so when I uh, did the you know final exam and everything, and we were about to go back uh, to Calcutta, the problem was uh, we were supposed to travel two days to uh, go to Calcutta, but we didn't know whether we got through or we didn't get through, you know? So for two days, uh, we would just sit there and wonder whether we will be able to get it because we couldn't see the result. And the result is supposed to uh, release on the same day when we were boarding the train. So uh, the train timing is 9.20 and the result will uh, come out at nine o'clock in the morning. And uh, we cannot see the results because we are at the station by the time. And, uh, you know, and I asked uh, Pravinda to help me out to see the result or know about the result uh, before we can board, but he couldn't manage to get it. We tried with Nina, we tried with NGD, everybody, but they said that you'll see it when the result list comes out, okay? So <laughs> uh, it was a very, you know, tough situation. I didn't know what to do. So I told Pravinda, Pravinda, nine o'clock in the morning, you will wake up, you'll go to the uh, uh, notice board, you will see <laughs> the result and you'll call me from the main gate because we didn't have mobile at the time, we didn't have any phone. So you're not going to call me, sorry, I'm going to call you from the station before I board the train and uh, you're going to pick up the phone and you're going to tell me right there because I cannot travel for two days <laughs> without knowing what's happening, you know. So Pravinda said, sure, I'll do that. Um, and, uh, you know, 9.20, me, Bimal, uh, Tuhin, we are all in the same uh, train. 9.20 is the boarding time. And uh, I'm standing in front of the booth. And there's two, three people in front of me. Okay, that's the only booth right in front of the station. And there are two, three people standing right in, like, uh, in, in the queue. And they keep calling, they keep talking. So I had to literally tell one person, please, could you please stop talking for now? Because I have to like call someone very urgently and this is very important for me. And the train is going to leave in, uh, in 15 minutes. So please give me the call, I mean, give me the phone. I called the main gate <coughs> and uh, so, uh, thankfully Pravinda was there. And uh, you know, he picked up, but by the time he picked up the phone, the train left, okay. <laughs> the train. Oh, oh, oh. Thriller, thriller. Thriller is same with thriller. <laughs> Train started moving, okay. And Pravinda, I'm calling Pravinda. Pravinda said, Rajesh, you got through. I'm like, what? <laughs> he said, yeah, you got through. You, Bimal, Tuhin, all three of you got through. I mean, that's like such a nice uh, news. That's the best news in my life. I couldn't even think about it. I said, Pravinda, I'm leaving because my train is leaving. I have to, I have to you know, I have to cut the call. I cut the call and then I ran and I picked. I mean, uh, got into the train while it. Which was station was this happening in, Rajesh? Which was the? Ahmedabad. The, the oh, acha. From Ahmedabad station, sir. Okay. From Ahmedabad. Then जाने का जरूरी नहीं था ना. ठीक है, मिल गया ना मैं आता हूँ वापस. Because वो उसी दिन का ट्रेन टिकट था ना. We we right, didn't know right. कि उसी दिन uh, you know result निकलने वाला है. And uh, you know we had to get that. But that was like a very exciting story for me. So did some celebrations happen inside the train? Oh yeah, in the time? train, we were so happy. All three of us like so happy for the next two days. We were just planning what to do, how to do and all that. So that was really good. Thank you. I mean, I thank Pravin Mishra for that. He took that, you know, initiative of going there in the morning and asking MJT and all that. So yeah, that was uh, one of the, you know, Great thing about. I think know. once Praveen joins us later, uh, he was there, but I think he must have dropped out. So once he, he joins us, you know, we'll, we'll probably hear from him directly. Yeah. So that was one of the news. Uh, anyway, I also forgot to tell you one more thing before I joined NID. Uh, my last job in Calcutta was a very. Uh, Praveen Mishra is, I think, waiting in the waiting room. He just joined. 
Yes, so yeah. the last job yes. that I did uh, in Calcutta was a. Uh, I didn't know that it would it would be become such a big job for me. Uh, I took up a job of you know Mitch Masala restaurant that has a chain in Ahmedabad. So they were starting up in Calcutta as well. So even before I got into NID, I got to do this job of painting the whole wall of uh, you know Mitch Masala at Calcutta. Um, and uh, <clears throat> it took me about a year to do it. And uh, every day after college, I used to get keep uh, you know take the colors and the brushes, and, and I used to go uh, to the restaurant and uh, paint the whole night, you know, and sleep maybe four o'clock or five o'clock in the morning. I used to have the dinner in the hotel itself. They had their cook and everything. They used to call me the painter. You know, there's like the painter again, painter again, <laughs> give him food and all that. But I, I must tell you that that was a very uh, different experience for me because I was handling all the walls and, you know, the bamboo structures. They made a bamboo structure for me to paint the uh, sky uh, with, you know, what brush I used. I used that uh, spray gun, uh, which you normally use to paint the cars at that time. So I rented the spray gun. Okay, I rented the big uh, machine. I got in, uh, got it into a truck, compressor and all, and put it inside. And then I started painting the, you know, uh, sky. And it was pretty big one, you know. I had to do all by myself. Uh, Your Sistine Chapel. Oh, exactly. Sistine Chapel. <laughs> and every day after the work, uh, I, I used to put all the, you know, hand key and everything. But after the walk, I would, uh, you know, my cough, I would cough and it would be blue. The whole cough would be blue. It was, you know, I, it was um, for a year I did the whole painting. I don't have many images, but I'll just share. But Raj, that time, that this must have also been very important for you to do, take up this kind of work. No? Because I, as far as I remember, you were generating money for your own fees at that time, right? And you know what? I'll tell you, the guy who was the, uh, the architect, of, of this chain of restaurants, uh, Vipul Patel. I met him there. And by that time, I only, I just got NID, okay, uh, admission. I mean, I got through in NID. And I needed um, a local guy, uh, guardian. Guardian, right. right? A local guardian. Right, right. So I asked Vipul, why would you be my guardian? <laughs> he said, yeah, definitely, I'll be your guardian. So Vipul, wow. why is the architect of Mitch Vasala was my guardian all the time. Uh, and actually, his wife is also from NID. So it was a very good connection. But anyway, uh, I used to sleep, you know, every night. I used to, uh, now, when I go back to the restaurant, sometimes I get like uh, very good treatment. Uh, sometimes, the first time I went, they never charged me at all. But next time I said, if you don't charge me, I will not be able to come back. So they charged me a very, you know, a nominal amount, giving me a lot of discounts and everything. And uh, I just go there and sit on the chairs or, or whatever the benches and everything. And I remember I used to sleep on those, you know. So, <laughs> so Rajesh, this uh, must have also worked on many cases, you no? Know, because for artists and designers and uh, illustrators, whoever we are, like the, it's very easy to form a bond with people, unknown people completely, just because we can draw them or offer our services in art in some way or the other, even for leisure. So that must have happened so many times with you while you're in your outdoor sketchings, no? Oh yeah, I mean it's always a very pleasant, uh, you know, interaction with people. They would uh, offer me, you know, to stay in their houses, even in the remote villages. Mostly in the remote villages, if you go, they'll offer you food. They offer you to stay, and even in this, uh, you know, railway platforms, they offered me the beds. You know, this come and sleep with us, and uh, they offered me food. They offered me pantabhat. Uh, you know, the the bashi bhat that we have. The you know. Uh, rotten rice, you must say. <laughs> so they used to offer me that as well. So we used to go to their small huts and have food with them. So we were like the most trusted person. With artists, I, they cannot do anything, right? So they are like the <laughs> most harmless people in the world. Uh, awesome. Anyway, so and uh, this project helped me a lot because it gave me a different perspective about Ahmedabad. And, you know, I used to learn about how... Um, Ahmedabad is before even I went there, you know, so uh, Mitch Masala actually gave me a, a base to, you know, uh, go into Ahmedabad and learn uh, their ritual and culture.
So I'm just going to uh, start sharing my screen so that you can see what I'm trying to say. Uh, so this is like one of the images that I found. Uh, I don't have many images here. I guess this is the, this taxi is one of the iconic uh, stuff that they put in, in, in the interior. And all these backgrounds are all done by me. So <clears throat> this, this is just a very small amount, but it, it, it was a very big uh, place to you know, paint. I, it took me a lot of time. Ajish, um, your, your truck is also there. Huh? <laughs> my truck is also there. You know, you know they let me uh, get into a car and I told them I need to go to the highways and take pictures. So they said, okay, take this Zen with the diver and go wherever you want to go. So I took like a one week just to take pictures of the highways and all that. Um, so that was fun. Anyway, so in, uh, NID, NID happened. I have to go for a preview mode. Sorry, this is a totally a different computer for me, so I have to understand how this works. So this is these are this is the you know animation patch at NID as you can see uh, Vimal uh, Amit. Uh, wow, I think Naveen is there with Naveen. us today. Yes. Ajish, can you make it full screen by any chance? Then the image will become a little bigger. Right? I'm I'm trying, uh, okay. but I don't know the, how do I make I, all I of think... them full screen. Ajish, if you select all, you select all, all of them, yeah. then you can yeah. scroll up and down. Easily. Yeah. Open them one. Open, yeah. Maybe they will open all together. Yeah, and you will have the sidebar, I think. From the sidebar, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So now you have a sidebar, you can choose which one to show. You can full screen this. How do I uh, go for a full screen? Enter full screen. screen. Okay, got it. But then I will not be able to zoom in. Can I zoom in as well? Yeah, if, if, if you're having the touchpad, you can just go pinch out. And oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So this is the you know NID um, AEP batch, and uh, in actually Deepa was supposed to be in a different uh, batch, but ah, this is Deepa, right, right, right. Yeah. Who is next so, to Deepa here? Rita Dhankani. Oh, are <laughs> amazing. Okay. Yeah. So and that's Amit Sunavne. That's Amit Sunavne, uh, Bimal, and me. Uh, cultural Achim. day. As you can yes. see, Amit is in his own cultural <laughs> attire. <laughs> um, Amit's cultural day must have been a cricket bat and gloves and bats. No? <laughs> I think he's going through the phase of whether he should follow Vivekananda or uh, Sunil Gavaskar. Uh, Sunil Gavaskar. <laughs> I think Rajesh, this is the only picture in which all seven are there. Yes, this is the only picture. That's why I saved them properly. And uh, this is again Vijit Prasun, uh, no, the, the PEP batch basically, animation PEP batch. No. Uh, Abhijit, the styling that we have <laughs> been doing. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I'll come to this later. Uh, let me talk about uh, my film first, because I have shown you the film, but I didn't show you what went through while I was making the film. So it was a, a very uh, initial, the initial stage was very different. I, I, I didn't know uh, whether I should show it in this way, but I'll, I'll just try.
So uh, I picked this uh, subject up when I was doing visual scripting. So this was actually a part of the visual scripting and then it went into the film that I you know, made up for that. I don't know how to screen again. So as you can see in the visual scripting, uh, we are doing it like this. So at that time, we never had a storyboard class. It was, you know, a visual scripting and the visual scripting was not a storyboard as I uh, understand now. Um, but, you know, we picked up a subject and I thought maybe talk is a very interesting subject and people have been, uh, like, I like playing dhaka and I like the dances as well. So I picked this up and uh, this is all I, you know, did. That was the end of it. Um, so this was done uh, during the visual scripting and when we were doing the film, uh, somebody told me like, why don't you make that into your film? So I did the, I'll show you the storyboard of, uh, of this as well. And uh, somebody was saying like the storyboards, uh, some people did it with uh, post-its. So I also did the storyboard with post-its. So Raji, right. when you converted the visual scripting into a film, then that yeah. little boy at the start and end, you know, that angle, that how did that angle come in? So uh, <clears throat> that came in because I felt, uh, you know, I am the one who has been missing it all the time, right? I'm, and, and I have to, uh, I mean, whenever I listen to any, any music, any dark, any dark related music, or if anybody beats a drum, even in NID, when people beat drums, I would, you know, feel, you know, the, the essence of dark there. So that boy actually me, you know, I am the one who has been uh, trying to imagine the whole uh, dark when I'm playing a drum or when I listen to a drum. That's how it kind of came into the place. And uh, yeah, so this is how I strictly followed. As you can see, they're all postage and I kept moving them here and there, you know, whatever I felt like. And nothing was um, concrete, you know, nothing was fixed that I have to do this in this way. But I took a lot of uh, understanding when PJ was talking about how do I introduce a character, how do I introduce a situation. So I started off from introducing a character and then introducing where the character is and then moving forward from there. So every time you'll see, you see a hand and then you'll see a person and then you'll see where they are. You know? So that's, how, that's what I kind of followed. And then their activities. And that's where it ended. Uh, but you have, you must have seen that there's some part of the uh, film is missing in the storyboard because that never happened. You know, the, I didn't do any storyboard for that part where uh, you know the women are putting sindoor and uh, offering uh, stuff to the goddess. So those things we, I mean, I was discussing with Prasoon, I was discussing with other people. And they were giving me some ideas when I was showing it to them and showing them the uh, storyboarding storyboards. Uh, they were saying, why don't you introduce these? Why don't you introduce that? that? So I picked those things up, whatever I felt is, you know, uh, is suitable for this film. And I did it on the way. I didn't even do any storyboard for this. So that was one of one kind of learning for me where I felt uh, like whatever I see through my eyes are, are not enough. I also need to show it to people and get their ideas and, you know, uh, because they are also from a similar background that they must have something in, embedded in, in them as well, which I can use 
for my film. So I always kept my options open. I never said, this is what I want to do. I, I just, you know, throw this ideas here and there, and then I pick them up. So that was a good learning for me. Uh, yeah, so about Dhak, that's what I wanted to share with you, uh, that, you know, on the way, on the process, I learned a lot. Um, and most of the time I worked uh, when I was making or doing Dhak, uh, that was a, what should I say? I've been working full time. Uh, the moment I joined NID, I started working as a freelancer. Um, and then I have been working almost full time uh, to provide for me and my uh, expenses. And, uh, you know, uh, I used to get like thousand rupees a month from my uncle who lives in Mascot. Um, and the rest of the time I had to feed, like my phone bill used to be 2,000, 3,000 a month, right? The, <laughs> the Chirag bhai would give me, you know, uh, we had a khata, as you call it. Chirag bhai, by the way, guys, is a, is a, is a, was a canteen kind of a store, little tiny little restaurant of, across the road at, uh, of, from NIT campus. Rajesh, this is very important. I, I want to, uh, want you to throw a little bit of light on this because, you know, you were managing your studies while having to earn for yourself and you were doing it with a way that there was no compromise on anything. Your work came out to be of the best quality possible at that time and you still managed to have fun during all this time, right? So uh, what you were doing was not like somebody's pointing a gun at your head and karne to neva. So now what we find happening a lot is uh, the, the amount of um, work that one is possible like what you have just displayed about the number of things you were doing why do you think there is a struggle now with so many people who find always one excuse that are time film uh, we see this happen often because you've made so many films before you went out as a student uh, you know as a professional now people are not even finishing a single film what do you think is the reason you know, the first thing I I like to point out is when I came into NID and when I saw all these films, all these, uh, you know, uh, uh, 25 ways of quitting smoking, I saw Boy Girls film, I saw, uh, you know, The Father and Daughter, those films made me mad, like, I mean, made me mad in this in a good way, like, why can't I do something like this? I mean, what's stopping me from doing something like this? So I... I always, you know, got driven by the good work that has been around me. And uh, thankfully, NID had a very uh, good library of work and, uh, you know, very good uh, teacher to show me good films so that we can get motivated out of it. And uh, then we can do good job as well. Um, so most of the time I felt like if I have to, and we, we were, we were supposed to make one film each, right? And I felt this is the only time I can make a film of my own choice because nobody is going to tell me that I'm paying you so you have to make a film like the way I want it. So I said, okay, if I have to make a film of my choice, I better do it the, the best way I can. You know, whatever I feel is the one, you know, it should come out from my heart. If I don't get to do it from my heart, there's no point making a film because because then you are nothing but you know a slave of someone else. So I, you, so I thought you know I should, I should start earning because I have to earn, earn. But I should also keep moving with my film. And thank, I'm, I'm very thankful to my wife because she, uh, you know, I used to come back from work at twelve at night, and sometimes because it's it's a lot of work. And then three o'clock I would wake up, and then she would wake me up and say, why don't you go and finish your film. So I would literally Easy. cry and tell her, you don't let me sleep for more than two, three hours. How can I do it? You know, but I did it because she helped me a lot. She said, no, you have to finish your film. You have to keep working. You cannot, you cannot quit. You know, I know you're working, but you have to also finish your film. That's your, that's your dream. You know, you have to finish it. So the most important thing I should say to people now and in future, I have, I have worked, I mean, I have worked with a lot of students as well in FTI and in NID. Um, I was a, like a, worked as a mentor in, in FTI and um, worked with some of the students who wanted to make their own films. 
the first thing I say is whatever you do, you make sure you finish it. If you don't finish it, there's no point, you know, going uh, on and on and discussing and coming up with di different stories and coming up with different ideas. It doesn't matter what idea you came up with. That moment, that was the best idea for you. I know my film is not so good at this point, but at that point, that was the best I could put in, you know. So I would suggest like every student or everybody who wants to make an animation film, plan it in such a way that they can finish the film. If they cannot finish the film, please don't start. You know, that's the best thing I, I can and say. Equally important, get married soon. And equally important <laughs> because <laughs> I think that was the best decision I took because every time there was some problem, I had to go back to Calcutta. <laughs> and people used to tell me, when, when are you going to, you know, stop doing Delhi Bass Injury, Ahmedabad to Calcutta? So I thought, you know, I should get married before I start my film. But Rajesh, I think you getting married inspired many others amongst your friends also. Some others at least who we know uh, to follow in your footsteps, right? Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> they did. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. And also the, the thing is, uh, because I was working full time, I got a lot of help from them as well. I worked in a company called Top Telemedia. Um, and I'll tell you, I've, I was the departmental head as a you know art director over there. And they were doing a lot of uh, 3D, 2D and a lot of stuff. Uh, so there were like 50 people working in the company. Um, and I was the art director. So throughout the day, I was you know checking their work and giving them changes and all that. But I had a room. So... I could work at the night time. I, I took permission from the from the guy Dharmendra Bhai, Dharmendra Bhai, and he gave me permission. Uh, he said you can work in that room whenever you want. Um, and uh, because my I, my computer was not that great, uh, I had a problem. I didn't have a scanner, okay, and my pages are much bigger, so I couldn't go and scan it in an ID. So I, I asked him, can I scan in your, uh, in your office? He said, yeah, yeah, you can go ahead and scan. So throughout the night, I scanned each and every page. It took me three months to scan all these pages. And then I worked in that, uh, in that room. I had a small um, mattress, which I, roll, which I used to roll up in the daytime and become the boss. And nighttime, I used to sleep on that mattress, right in front of the chair uh, or the table. And, and a small pillow, okay. And uh, Dharmendra Bhai, the boss, uh, he used to bring me tiffin. Uh, my, I told my wife to go home uh, during that period because I was coloring. And because I was coloring, I needed a computer. And the uh, only computer I could get was in my office. <clears throat> so I told my wife to go home for three months and then I'll color it and then I'll come back. <laughs> so so this three, three to six months, I had to work uh, from, you know, from the office itself. And uh, he used to bring me tiffin, like he used to bring his own tiffin with a little bit extra so that I can have lunch with him. And, uh, you know, I recently spoke with him. I said, Dhamandava, I still remember that you helped me during that period of time. And he said, you deserved it. You know, you are the, you have been working so hard. And uh, he said, <laughs> but I said, no, no, I still remember it. So anyway, yeah. that... Uh, Everything comes together when you are really working hard. That's what I felt. Um, so, Rajesh, I, one more thing before we move ahead, I have to tell you because uh, last time we here, lot of people it was almost like a quaish for them also. But this time today, we'll make their quaish come true because okay. today you are going to give us a short little demo of a painting. Okay. So, you can see models and you can see models live and you can post it and you have to give us a live demo uh, of making a portrait. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. So, uh, you can listen to your post NID after the film got over and then how you left and let's enter your professional career and then we'll go for that session. Yeah, so uh, when my film got selected in different places, I got to go different places as well. I'm telling you this because it helped me a lot when I decided to move to Canada. This, this thing helped me a lot. Uh, I'll just share my screen once again. Please bear with me. So uh, this is, I don't know if you know this person. Um, I will go for a full screen again. Do you remember this person, anybody? 
like the one on the right hand is me, of course, and on the left hand. No, I don't. So this is Michael Dudok Dewitt. Okay, the guy who made wow. Father and Daughter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I met I met him uh, during uh, you know a film festival where I was. A guest this is Annecy, is it? No, this is not Annecy. This is in Zagreb. Okay. Yeah. So I met him there. This is in Zagreb as well, uh, <laughs> in Croatia. As you can see, I was gifted a tie, and tie actually originated from Croatia. I heard. So uh, this is in Annecy. Uh, this is you know in India. Uh, in this. Uh, this is, you know who it is right? Ah, uh, Bill Plimpton. Mr. Plimpton. Bill Plimpton. So I got to meet this great people whose films. I saw when I was working, uh, when I was in NID, right? So this motivated me a lot, you know? This motivated me so much that, uh, like, my film got over and I came out and people just ran out of the uh, auditorium and then started taking my autographs. Just imagine, like, how, you know, I could never imagine this in my life that this could happen. The old people, young people, they would they would come to me and they would start talking to me even with a br broken English and everything. I am also talking in broken English, so it's absolutely fine. And it felt like I am home, you know. I, I felt like this is where I'm supposed to be. So that motivated me a lot. And this is where I asked, uh, you know, all these people like, how come your films you you can make so many short films. You know, in India, it's so hard to make short films because you don't get paid. Nobody pays for short films. So that's where I got to learn about National Film Board of Canada. Uh, that's where I met all these people from these boards as well. And that's one of the reasons why I applied for Canada later. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, talking to Bill Clinton uh, when I was talking to uh, Bill Dennis and he was there as well. I, I forgot to mention, he was also there in Zagreb. Uh, and uh, Bill Clinton uh, was talking to Bill Dennis about me. And Bill Dennis told me later that Bill Clinton was asking like, who is this guy? I saw his film, it's really good. And Bill Dennis told him, you better watch out from this guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's one of the you know. Main yes, Rajesh, your that, name I must say since you brought in Bill Dennis uh, into the conversation, I must say that uh, your your name used to pop up very often during our meetings at Tunes because Bill Dennis later on uh, came up to make Tunes into random. So uh, there was a lot of times when uh, the name of Rajesh Chakravarti would pop up, and uh, I would have to answer where he is, what he is doing right now, and how to get him, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So lovely. Oh, such a nice person. Such a nice So Rajesh, these visits to these film festivals exposed you to a lot of new cultures. And then you thought that, so the core of wanting to be in Canada was the short film format, was it? Yes, yes. I'm I'm still looking forward to do my own short film. I have been doing my short films. I have been pitching it as well. Uh, but I mean, I never left my dream. I'm still with it. I mean, I've been doing all these other stuff as well. But making short films is the only dream that is keeping me going. That's all. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I, whatever I, a job that I was given, I never said I'm not going to do it. I do it with everything that I have. Uh, I mean, I can show you what, what kind of work that I'm, I have been doing here as well as in India. Um, but I give my 100% for every work that I do. But uh, at the same time, <clears throat> my dream lies over there. So I'm, I'm still fighting for it. Uh, what else? I'll show you, I'll quickly uh, run you through some images that I have been uh, working as an illustrator. Most of the time I worked in, uh, in India as an illustrator because uh, you know, short films are not happening. I never wanted to get into a big company where you know, I get lost as, a, you know, as an animator. I never wanted to become just an animator. I wanted to come up with the, uh, the magic of animation and uh, you know, try to explore those, those areas, not only the animator, but how to create those animation, how to create those characters. So I'll quickly you know, do that so that... Rajesh, 
Yeah. You were also associated with Orin, right? Orin, and there was a lot of innovative work which was happening uh, at Orin as well. Yes, yes. I don't have many images, uh, but I'll tell you about that. So you get. Umesh. Umesh Shukla. Right? Yeah. Yes. So this is. Uh, so I met him recently, know? recently in Vancouver. The same guy. <laughs> After 20, 25 years of more than that, uh, Michael Dudok did it. Yeah. Uh, Here he looks like him because this is the image we have seen more often of uh, yes of, of this man. वो जवानी में उसका वो पिक्चर समझ नहीं आया कौन है हाँ वो समझ में आएगा भी नहीं क्योंकि वो बहुत ही पुराना था लेफ्ट में भी जो है ना ये और समझ नहीं आ रहा है हाँ हाँ इस एक्सपैंड किया थोड़ा एनीवे तो दिस आर द वर्क दैट आई डिड व्हेन आई वाज इन इंडिया आई वाज डूइंग लॉट ऑफ स्टोरी बोर्डिंग फॉर but they are all done with mouse because we didn't have pen at that time. So all these colors that you see, they're all done with mouse, a ball mouse, everything. So, but the drawings are done in pencil, then I would uh, scan them and then I would do the coloring on with mouse. This what is were all these done. for Rajesh? What were these for? Story books? So there was, these, these are for different uh, stories of some sadhu, sons and uh, this was for the you know development happening in India, which is uh, during the Modi uh, when Modi was CM in Andhra. Uh, so there were some images that needed to be done. Uh, as you can see, like they're all they're all with the mouse only. There's no there's no pen at that time. So it was really hard, you know, to draw them with mouse. But you know, we tried our best. <laughs> uh, some caricatures. Some tourism paintings. Uh, ah, this is one of the best memories. Uh, got convicted finally. <laughs> um, so this is uh, some of the paintings that I did for museums. So this is for a Guru Nanak museum. Uh, this time I was using a pen. This is one of the concept art I did for a film. Uh, this is a like an acrylic painting of a friend's daughter. Uh, this is Shunil on the side. Shunil Gangopadha, when he passed away, I couldn't stop myself from going doing a portrait of him. Anyway, so yeah, so these are a few of the images that I thought I should just share. Um, and we were talking about uh, something we were talking about, right, uh, PJ? Yeah. Uh, what was that? Ah, Orin and- uh, Yes, Orin. Orin, yeah. So Orin was a very interesting uh, work that I did. As you can see here, this is a style that we wanted to create with technology. Like we, I, you haven't seen how to paint in, I mean, how to paint watercolor with the technology, right? So we tried to bring that um, with a 3D model and, you know, with a lot of uh, technology. So we, they started building some softwares and through the softwares, you, you could say how much water you need to put and how much other colors and everything, like how much spreading needs to happen. And, uh, this was pretty new at that time. iPad wasn't there at that time. So uh, we literally had to work a lot to get this uh, thing because- So which year uh, approximately was this Rajesh? Around 2004, 2005, something like that? 2007, I believe. 2007. 2007. Yeah. So we so, had uh, the advent of a fractal painter and Adobe Photoshop and its early avatars where you could use textured brushes. Yeah. That was the only thing you had, right? Exactly. and. The thing is, the way they used to do that, I I was the uh, I was, I was I was a creative director, but uh, the people who used to work in these softwares, they used to just play with words and numbers. You know, they they could only see the image once they place all these words and numbers, and then hit enter, and then the render would come. But before that, they would know they would not know what's happening. You know, so. Every time there's a little bit of trial and error, trial and error to see what's happening. So it was a, a very difficult thing at that point, but then they created a good software out of it. 
uh, and uh, so is this image an output of the software or was it the artwork that you provided for so the background was done in, in uh, as a painting okay okay only the character uh, is in 3d and we just Ooh. placed the character on top of the background so oh. the character is in 3d but then Rajesh, you, is, yeah. is there like a moving clip that you could show us I don't have the movie. Okay. Okay, because there were many filters that they had created, right? Which were watercolors or various art forms, oil and... Um, yeah, but I didn't and, have... And I don't in have 3D, you movie. could actually apply those handmade uh, treatments, right? Like. Yes. We did the founder, yes. The yes. founder of Orin also was associated with Titanic, right? The film, he was yes. one of the technical yes. directors of the... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Umesh Shukla, his uh, NID passed out and uh, he then went to US and he's been working there uh, for a long time. Um, and uh, he was in Titanic and he was in many other shows, uh, uh, films as well. Uh, very talented person. And uh, thankfully, he chose me to become a part of his company. He had uh, one company in LA and the other one is in, or in, uh, is in Pune, which is Orin. Um, and it was a, I, I was there for five years and there was a lot of learning throughout uh, the journey because then iPad came and then we changed our, our understanding of how to make films. We tried, we went to the children's books and we tried to copy the children's books illustrations and make them into animation. So even if you read a book uh, like a child reads, you can still interact with them. So that was very uh, initial, um, you know, try that we did and it was very successful, but I, I believe that was still very new to people. You know, the iPad just came and not many people had that with them. Um, but that was a time Umesh Shukla had that vision of creating something for children and with the children's illustration. Like most of the illustration, we used to pick up the illustration and then create them into software and then animate them as well. It was a very good initiative. Um, so yeah, I mean, I did work there. And then uh, from that time onwards, when uh, I was still searching for the same thing, like when can I do my film? When can I do my own film? How can I stay in the animation, not get diverted? Because Every time I worked uh, in different places, most of the time it changed into illustration because people cannot afford to make short films, you know? So, uh, so that uh, made me applying for in a, uh, Canada uh, when I was in, in or in from that time onwards, because I saw what Umesh was doing over there and how there are so many things that can be done over there as well. I tried uh, finding, you know, where uh, NFB is and how NFB works and, you know, how do you get fund? How do you approach them? So they said either you have to have a, a co-production with India or you have to be a Canadian PR. So I thought I'll take a chance and uh, apply there. So. I applied and uh, nobody knew, okay? My family didn't know, my wife didn't know, my, nobody. I was the only one who kept applying. My wife didn't know, what are you getting? Miss, and I used to go to her and say, sign this, sign that. And I'm like, what is this? I said, Don't worry about it, just sign. So she would just sign and give it to me. Uh, so after a few years when um, I was working in Mumbai, uh, I got a call from my agent and uh, this, they just sent me a text, not even a call, they just sent me a text that I got a PR for uh, Canada. And uh, the next day I packed up everything. I went back to Pune because my family was in Pune. Uh, and I bought my ticket, uh, one way ticket. <laughs> and I said, um, I'm leaving. Uh, so I went to, I came to Canada on 1st of March, which is my birthday. So I gave I, I give it. I gave a gift to my a gift to myself. Um, I said I should remember this day. So <laughs> that was the day I bought the ticket, and I came here. Um, Rajesh, tell me one thing. Before you yeah. arrived at Canada, did you have? Uh, did you uh, get yourself a kind of a job or some kind of a work with which you were traveling there, or did you figure everything out once you reached? 
um, I spoke to my friends uh, who were in Canada. Uh, let me share my screen once again while I'm talking. I spoke to my friends um, and they said, you have, you can, I, I mean, I was asking them, how can I, how, how can I work there? Because I have lots of responsibilities. I'm married, I have a kid, uh, you know, how do I get to work? Uh, they said, you know, you get to do anything. There are so many things that you can do. You don't, uh, you don't essentially get to do the job that you want to do initially, but uh, we can, we can try to put you into something and then later on you can move on uh, to a different uh, job. So I left everything. And uh, when I was in the tax, in a cab from Pune to uh, Mumbai, I called my uh, home. I called my mom and my sister and told her uh, that I'm going to Canada. They're like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Canada. I have to get a job there and be, uh, there for some time now. Uh, I have a, I had a friend over here in, in Vancouver. Um, his name is Arindam. He's from my art college. Uh, he used to live in the same hostel. So I, I told him if I can come and live with him. He said, yeah, yeah, don't worry. So that was so nice of him to help me out. Um, I'm just going to share the screen now. So this is the day when I... You know, <laughs> I was traveling to Canada. Um, <laughs> I mean, I only packed one bag and that's it. Like, or two bags. Uh, yeah, two bags. I didn't carry everything. I just, I thought I'll just go get a job and come back and then pick up everything. Uh, and this is where I landed. You know, in, in Vancouver. Uh, oh, so this is my okay. I, before this, I, I should tell you something. Before this, what happened was I uh, I didn't get a job for two months. Every day I was applying anywhere I could, anywhere. Okay, like if somebody is saying I need an Indian actor, I was like I'm there. <laughs> I need something. I'm there, so I applied wherever I could. Okay, and uh, Thankfully, in few places, I got some freelance job uh, where I could go and do some painting, do some artwork, and they would pay me good money, actually. Um, so that's how I survived. And then uh, lastly, when my wife was like, when are you, when am I coming? When are we coming? Uh, so I said, okay, let me get a job. Let me get a job. So what happened was um, I got into... Uh, training where you know all these security guards and everything because I had to earn money at the end of the day right so I said okay I'll join there and then I'll start earning and then let them come and then I'll figure out something so I did a training for that uh, about two weeks or three weeks training okay with a lot of people and as then a security guard. got a uniform and it's as a security guard I got oh. an uniform okay from from the store uh, they gave me a free uniform and everything uh, and then I, um, the next day onwards, my job would start and I would get paid. What uniform is it, Rajesh, Abhibi? I'm telling you, I wore that, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I took the, elephant, I mean, the uniform and I, I stood in front of the mirror, okay? And when I looked up and I said, this is not who I am, this is not, you know, this is not Rajesh Chakravarti. I'm not going to do it. So I, I went uh, the next day, I returned that uniform. I said, either I do my own job or I don't do anything. So I returned the, my uh, uniform. And uh, the next day I got a call from Braun. And by the time I applied so many places and there's this lady who has been talking to me and asking me all these questions. I'm like, who, who is she and where, which company she is from? Because I've applied so many places, right? And she was saying, no, we need a storyboard artist. And you applied for a storyboard artist. Who would you be able to come and meet us, meet our, uh, our director? Just imagine the next day, okay? I got a call from them. And as I said, the universe comes together when you want to work with something, when you want to do Absolutely. something really good. Absolutely. The universe always helps you out, you know? So 
the next day. And you know what company it is? It's Braun. And the person who was calling me, she's one of the, like, she's the lady of the company. She's the owner of the company, okay? Uh, Branda and uh, Gil, uh, Branda is the name of, I mean, the Braun is BR and uh, Owen is, uh, I forgot his name. So basically both of them, their names together. Uh, yeah, Aaron, Aaron and uh, Brenda. So Brenda called me and she was calling me and tell, asking me all these questions. And uh, next day I went to uh, meet uh, the director and the, the, I got to know that the director was one of the animation uh, director in, in some Pixar's, Pixar movies. And I'm like, wow, where am I, <laughs> what am I doing? I mean, I was like, uh, what do you say? Like, I'm, uh, I'm on, on the top of the world at that point, okay? Like, I went into the studio and studio looks so professional, all dark and all Cintiq and all, like the way studio should be, right? And uh, I went and met him. I wasn't sure whether he has seen my work because he's been telling me about the story. He's been telling me everything, but he never said that, you know, um, like, where is your work? He never asked me for the work. So I was a little scared. <laughs> has he seen my work? But then Maybe. finally he said, I've seen your work, so don't worry about it. <laughs> So, so this is, uh, you know, that's why I, I wanted to tell you the story because this is the place where I work. I mean, I broke my foot after a certain point, uh, after one year or so, uh, but this was the team I was working with and they're a very talented team. The guy on the red, uh, sorry, white shirt beside me, uh, he's the director. Okay, his name is Adam, and uh, all of them are storyboard artists and storyboard supervisor, and uh, you know we work together here. So yeah, so that was the turning point, and uh, from there onwards, I kept learning from this particular uh, studio. I learned a lot because what I learned in India uh, was very different. Like you do. Uh, storyboard for commercials, right? That's for the client to see. That's not actually a working storyboard where you the animators follow that. So I had to unlearn a lot of things and then learn again. And then um, the culture was so different. Like you would tell me about something and I wouldn't even know what that, that means, you know? <laughs> so like, even in a, like, if, if there is an expression of word, I mean, a word which means some expression, I wouldn't know. So there's a total cultural difference and I had to go through a lot to learn these. So these guys were so helpful, by the way. They were like, they would tell me everything that I asked, you know, they would not get bothered. Or they would not get irritated. Every time I would come up with like 10 different questions when there is a brief um, and uh, they would all give me a clear answer and you can walk into anybody's room you know, if they're not busy, they will talk to you. Uh, they're like friends, you know, so there's no hierarchy. The top guy of the office uh, and the guy who is like the, you know, uh, the production guy, everybody you can go to and talk to. So Rajesh, uh, as, a, yeah. as a fresh person coming from an Indian work culture, where you've worked with so many different kind of studios, so many different kind of high profile people also like, who were working here in that Indian atmosphere in our domestic conditions and then to move on to that other place. What was the difference in professionalism that you've encountered or experienced? Or was there anything at all in that? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like The uh, difference was, you know, uh, first of all, you could go to anybody's room. You know, you could just say, hey, can I come in? And they were like, yeah, yeah, please come. You can just go and sit there and keep, you know, you talk to them. Uh, if they if they don't have any meeting going on, if they're not busy, they will give you some time and then you can talk to them. If you have any doubts, you can clear it right there, you know, and they're very respective. Like they, they wouldn't talk to you like you're junior, you're subordinate. They will talk to you as if you are the co-worker, 
Okay. And uh, most of the time they would say like, if you are staying, I mean, first of all, they would encourage you not to stay late. They would tell you, if you need another day, let us know. Um, I mean, they, everywhere it's the same thing. Like they, if, if you want another day, let us know in advance so that I can arrange something. Uh, but they would ask you to go home, sleep and come back next day with a fresh mind, you know, instead of spending the whole night and working late and working because it affects your work as well. It affects your life, it affects your family, everything. So that's the first thing that, you know, that was very exciting for me. Like, don't have to work late nights because I'm used to working late nights, okay? They say, no, 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 you don't have to work late nights. You can come back tomorrow and work. <clears throat> so those are the changes. Those are the new things. And because those are there, I wanted to give my 100% as well because they they were so nice, you know? They, they, they were not right behind uh, me and telling me what to do, what not to do. If you cannot do it, they'll give you another time I mean, or they can, uh, if they, they are in need, they will spread it to someone else. They will give it to someone else and get the work done. Uh, and the first, because the first one was a feature film, they had a lot of time in their hand. It was not a TV series where you have a very crunchy situation and you have to finish it on time. So uh, there are a lot of going back and forth and uh, a lot of changes happening. Um, Rajesh? Yeah. Was yeah. it an animated feature film? It was or an did you also board film. for live action? No, that was. I, I have been boarding only for animation here. That's that's why I'm very happy right now. <laughs> 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 uh, because back home in India, I could only board for mostly for live action, but not animation. Right here, I can uh, board for animation, um, and there's so many things that were I didn't know you know I, I I had to learn a lot of things like how what is previous I didn't know what previous is pre-visualizations where the 3d you know uh, layout guys come and they put things in perspective because when you do a boarding you don't know how big the character compared to the other character is right so you might draw them a little lower you might draw them a little closer to the camera and when you go to a three-dimensional background where you put the camera, then you see the character is supposed to be far away or much closer, then your composition changes completely, right? So these things we got to learn on the way. We got to learn how the sizes matters, how the perspective has to be correct. Um, and also, of course, that storytelling matters a lot. Um, there are different ways of telling the story and different ways different rules that we should follow at the same time. So it was fun. It was uh, really a great Amazing. Time. Rajesh, I will just uh, uh, interrupt here for a moment. We are at the sure. one hour mark right now. Okay. So we just want to plan the timing so that our promise to our audience doesn't go away because they've been looking to Rajesh for a long, long time for one demo from him. So Rajesh, two things, uh, two things we would love to see now. One is some sample of the storyboarding work that you've done in the form of animatic during these exercises and maybe much later how the wide range story unfurled or uske baad hum seedha jayenge aapke palette pe, aapke canvas pe. Okay. okay. So I will okay. uh, just share my screen. Um, Rajesh, Devangji has a has a query. Which place are you speaking about? This is the same Braun uh, animation studio. Is it? Yeah, I worked in Braun. Then I went to Bordel. Then I worked in Mainframe. Then I went to um, uh, Atomic. Uh, now I'm working at Wild Brain. But most of the places are like this. You know, I've never seen where you. I mean, the experience is mostly same or similar, you know, so that was really nice. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'll share my screen right now. This is, uh, some part of the board is done for certain uh, projects. 
but most of it is a testing like because I'm, I was new to the industry, I had to do some testing uh, to get a job. You know, it's not like you, you have to do an interview. You just, they say, okay, are you fit for this particular job? Because there are different kinds of storyboard, different kinds of characters, different kinds of storytelling. So they would want to know whether I'm capable of handling those situations, those uh, storytelling process. So I had to do a little bit of testing and there are some work that are uh, also uh, for real, like used in the film as well. Okay, I'll share now.
All right. So <laughs> action, action, lots of action. So Rajesh, there was a lot of combination of uh, styles in which you've done the storyboard. Some had very, uh, very fast, quick lines and not detailed drawings, but some had a lot of detailing done. So were these the final stages or was there something else? Well, most of them are not in final stages. This was like very basic stages, you okay. can say. Um, but I try to stay flexible in terms of the drawing style uh, because, you know, I had to, I mean, because I had a background of realistic drawing, it was very hard for me to initially to break off from the realism and uh, coming to a very simplistic life drawing style. Uh, it took me a lot of time to break from that and come to this. I had to learn from all my friends and peers um, who were working with me. And uh, they helped me a lot because <clears throat> they would show me how to simplify uh, even a complex character and make it, you know, still believable and have all these expressions and everything. It, uh, this is a very old uh, show, I must say, but this where I'm actually trying to change myself. You know, I'm trying to come up with different styles and working with different guys. Um, yeah, so. It helped me a lot. <laughs> and uh, most of the, you can see that they are not timed correctly because they're all action sequences because I somehow wanted to do action sequences. That's why my boards are like, my showreel is also more action oriented, but I did other things as well, which I don't have in my uh, showreel. So yeah, right. it's a so within this atmosphere, there is a hub of animation happening, and you know you are in the dream place that you always wanted to be in. You might be able to locate gurus almost all around, no? Everywhere, some up here, they will be all having these pearls of wisdom, and uh, you can grab from them. Yeah, I mean, as I said, you could go to anybody, go to anybody's room, and see what's happening. Uh, like people who are working with effects, they would come up with different kinds of effects, and you know you can go and see uh, the art direction uh, area where I have a lot of friends who are doing the art, um, like designs and conceptualizations, backgrounds. Uh, so you get to see all these different areas where they're very specific. They're very concentrating on one particular area only. So one person doesn't do 10 different things, which uh, unfortunately, I mean, or fortunately in India, we have to because um, we don't have many specialized people in different areas, uh, but they are very particular. Like if you have a storyboard team, there's a storyboard uh, coordinator and there's a production who is looking at the coordinator and the coordinator is helping the storyboard artist. If they have any issues, they, we just have to tell him or her and they will take care of it. So apart from Thank doing you. your work, you don't have to worry about anything else. Like there'll be a person in the company who will, uh, you know, mitigate between the company and the employee, you know, so they will say, if you have, right. any, have any physical or mental problem, let us know, we'll help okay. you out. So. Amazing, fantastic. So Rajesh, are we now set for? Yeah, let's go for the painting. Demo. Okay. Yes, so city was in Charuaji. Fantastic, <laughs> super, um, looking forward. Actually, Rajesh, I, uh, sawal tha, mera, like before uh, I forget that, before you go to the demo, one last question, I want to get some uh, thought from you. Do you think in any way, the way we learn in India, our education system at primary level or at school level, or then in our specialized education uh, systems also, like when we were learning design or art, and now you are in this culture where you probably are getting to know about how they've learned their craft, how they've done their schooling. Do you find there is anything that stands out in this, these two processes? Uh, over here, I've seen that people are very good at one particular subject. You know, when they do storyboarding, they learn storyboarding very, uh, you know, nicely and very effectively. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm still novice, I'm still learning. And they are very young stars which are coming out from the school. They know much more than me. And they're so, so good. You know, I still learn from them. Uh, but I'm saying in India, we, we teach uh, filmmaking in a different way, I think. Uh, we uh, try to talk more um, 
not the story language or the sorry film language point of view but more from uh, how should i say it's more from heart you know it's more like impulsive i would say like whatever comes in your thought you just say mm-hmm. uh, but here even if you want to say something there is a process that they follow uh, there is a story line that they follow story curves that they follow uh, which always helps uh, you know because it's mostly i think is proven you know most of the people they know how the story works and how it doesn't work how it motivates people so i would say the learning is totally different but both learning has their pros and cons you know the learning that i had in nid was very different and i still want to make film with that learning as well you know i don't want to miss that because that was a very different learning for me um, and i also like the way they work because this also brings a lot of stories alive and people love the stories people love how they work um, so it's it's two different things but they're both of them are good i would say fantastic so get the best of both worlds and enjoy life that's the way to go yeah yeah so uh, get the best of both i mean i i mean if they could get into nid they would have learned a lot as well <laughs> uh, from Correct. the nature Correct. from the people uh, i i would you know i'm i'm fortunate enough to be able to be in an idea as well as over here yeah yeah tell them we also have a main gate where chai is unlimited on supply oh. and most of the creativity happens there at the main gate with the bhajia and kanda so uh, nothing can go beyond that you know so sabko yeah you know i did, i did my character design uh, of the guy you know ajay who was used to serve the chai of ajay because i wanted to be in that main gate i wanted to have tea all day long that's why i picked up that character <laughs> चलो राजेश अभी डेमो पे चलते हैं आपके सामने थंबनेल्स व्यू है सो यू कैन सी द एंटायर थंबनेल्स व्यू इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी यू कैन चूज हु इज द मोस्ट फोटोजेनिक ऑफ ऑल दीज सब्जेक्ट्स दैट वी गॉट फॉर यू टुडे मिस पोर्ट्रेट कर दो गाइस भी आपको बहुत सारे ऑप्शंस मिल जाएंगे थंबनेल में क्यों जाने गए आप देखो थंबनेल पे सेलेक्ट करो हां वो भी स्पॉटलाइट करके आप आप पॉज बोलोगे होल्ड बोलोगे हम उसी को शूट कर देंगे गाइस अपने वीडियोस ऑन करो अगर आप अगर आप राजेश के पोर्ट्रेट बनना चाहते हो तो इफ यू गाइस वांट टू बिकम पोर्ट्रेट बाय द वन एंड ओनली राजेश स्विच ऑन योर वीडियोस अदरवाइज यू लूज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी मैं भी थोड़ा मेकअप शूट करके आता हूं राजेश अह प्रविंदा हाय प्रविंदा अह कादरी भाई मस्ट बी अ डिफिकल्ट चॉइस बिकॉज़ ही इज इन अ मूविंग व्हीकल राइट नाउ इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट चॉइस डेफिनेटली Mm. Wow. No, I was thinking. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to make a portrait of uh, recently the person who passed away, and you know he was, uh, you know, a legend, uh, Dilip Kumar. I wanted to make a portrait of him, so I ah. thought, why don't I, you know, just do a portrait of Dilip Kumar? Lovely, lovely. And, yes, that's great idea. Sure, sure, sure. All yours. Fantastic. Lovely. All yours, Rajesh. The canvas is all yours. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the image. Uh, let me see if it's somewhere. And meanwhile, if there are any queries from the audience, please bring them on as Rajesh sets up. Any questions on YouTube? There is one question from Avani Awesome here. What would you advise to young animators starting out in the industry? Um, I think in this industry, uh, especially in, in India, uh, there's a lot of um, new projects coming up, and a lot of IPs are coming up. People are looking for new content. Uh, people are doing new content. So Indian animation is kind of growing in certain way. I mean, Vaiva would be the better person to talk about it, uh, definitely. But to my understanding, is uh, because of Netflix and because of all these new uh, stream uh, streaming companies, uh, there are a lot of content that are needed every day. So that's why Netflix has opened up their own studio, and they're still hiring people because they don't have the capacity to you know do everything by themselves. So. if you are in the right track if you really want to uh, you know work with uh, indian 
animation, uh, come up with different stories, you know, and then pitch them. Uh, and then you can make your own film and TV series and whatnot. So this, I think this time, uh, everybody had problem during this pandemic, but entertainment industry, especially the animation industry was kind of, you know, pretty much solid. You know, we, everybody worked from home. I have like me my, in our company, 400 people are working from home. Okay. So they're all being taken care of. Uh, you have any problem, they will come and solve it right there on the same day. Uh, a lot of people are working from Toronto as well and different places. So I'm trying to find uh, a picture of Dilip Kumar. I mean, I did find one, but somehow I'm not being able to see it. Uh, somehow it's not giving me. If you don't get it, it's Vaibhav Kumar. You can also give a live reference. He's also a very well-known दिलीप कुमार का तो मिला नहीं मुझे Go with uh, live level, uh, Rajesh Bhai. One of our best. Yehi, sabse yes. So, the, so important. I don't know. Uh, Web of Kumarish is Rajesh's model. And... Achha, mere ko banane wale ke? <laughs> yes, yes. Zara, ab tayar ho jao. Light. Chai, wai, pani, jo bhi leke bed na hai. Set, uh, lighting sahi hai ekdom. Piche world map hai. Toilet, toilet, jana hai to. Tangi kar kya? नहीं <laughs> नहीं लाइटिंग थी अच्छा 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 मस्त एक हाँ बढ़िया लाइटिंग यार ये कैसे देखो राजेश राजेश लाइटिंग करते हैं नहीं 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 ये एक एक कौन सा पोज कुछ भी नहीं एकदम कुछ भी पोज मत करो तो बेस्ट पोज हो जाएगा थोड़ा सा थोड़ा इस तरफ आ ये टोनी जी एस जस्ट शेड एन इमेज हम आपको शायद दिलीप कुमार ही भेजा होगा उन्होंने एक मिनट देखता हूँ मैं क्या भेजा है आप भी शेयर आप भी सेव कर सकते हो अपने चैट में डाला देखो राजेश हाँ थैंक Ah, uh, okay. Got it. Yeah, this is better because then I can show uh, right there like what's happening. Uh, okay. Or I could bet now we need to do it. So usually, usually I keep the picture in a different monitor and uh, I keep my drawing in the other monitor. लेकिन यहाँ पे शायद मुझे दोनों को सेम मॉनिटर में रखना पड़ेगा सो यू विल गेट टू सी देम टुगेदर राइट ऑडियंस लोग एक और गूगल सर्च करके ना देव कुमार के सारे ड्रामेटिक इमेजेस नहीं नहीं सारे ये भी मस्त है ये भी मस्त है जो टोनी जी ने भेजा है हाँ ये अच्छा है राजेश आपने एक आरएल मिस्त्री सर का बनाया ना एक लास्ट एक इमेज था जो आपके नेक्स्ट आने वाला था वो ब्राउन के इमेज के बाद था वो वो दिखाया नहीं आपने तो लास्ट में वो वो दिखा ना एकदम इतना ब्यूटीफुल लग रहा था वो आई थिंक ही हैड शेयर्ड दैट ऑन ऑन एज एज अ ट्रिब्यूट इमेज ऑन सोशल मीडिया समवेयर बहुत ब्यूटीफुल था या थैंक यू एंड एक्चुअली मैं आपको बताऊं कि वाइफ ने मुझे फोन किया उस दिन and we had a video chat oh, that was the first time 
Yeah, and uh, it was so nice to talk to her. Image कहाँ गया यार? Even if so, you people, share... if you have any questions coming up to your mind right now, please uh, do shoot it by the time Rajesh is figuring his stuff out. Or, आपके जो दोस्त लोग यहाँ पे हैं, Praveen आप यहाँ हो, Vimal आप यहाँ पे हो, and some of many of many others are also here. So, if you have any additional stories of masala to share in the context of this person on screen, so please feel free to uh, pitch in. I think Rajesh, even if you share your screen so that we get to see what you're doing, because the image uh, yeah. we probably know, so we, we we've seen the image. Or what I could do is probably share the image that Tony Ji had sent. Can you see this? Uh, yeah, I can see. This. As in, can yes. everybody else see this? Yes. So this is what I think Rajesh is going to attempt now. Okay. So, so Abhi Rajesh, Abhi, you share your screen. Share karo. So we will all get to see the Dilip Kumar image. You can, you will be getting to see both. Ah, just uh, I'm actually trying to put it in my frame. Possibly. कादरी बाई का एक क्वेश्चन आया है वॉन्ट टू नो फ्रॉम राजेश इफ हिज स्टूडियो इज लुकिंग फॉर अ न्यू कंटेंट फॉर एनिमेटेड एपिसोडिक सॉरी आई वॉन्ट टू नो फ्रॉम राजेश इफ हिज स्टूडियो इज लुकिंग फॉर न्यू कंटेंट फॉर एन एनिमेटेड एपिसोडिक सीरीज दे आर ऑलवेज लुकिंग फॉर न्यू कंटेंट ऑलवेज सो या Kadri bhai, Kadri bhai, why did you uh, ask? Do you have any concepts to pitch? Yeah, we we have a con three four concepts already script ready actually, and the so storyboard is happening on it. So in terms of concept, concept in terms of why. concept, there should be a uh, instead of just the storyboard, there should be a bible, you know, where you can show the characters. Yeah, and all yeah, yeah, everything is there. Yeah. yeah, it is there. Everything. Okay. Okay. Bible is there. Script is there. Now we are doing a storyboard just for we can see the presentation. Okay. Rajesh, we can view your Thank screen you. now. Thank you, Rajesh. Okay. Rajesh, so, I will contact you then. Yeah, please do. Please do. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to start right now, and I'm. Going to try finishing it very soon. So, क्या बात है राजेश इन एक्शन? Yes, Vimal, welcome. These past few. Your voice is cracking. Can you take the position that you take? Ije, can Sorry, you repeat? Couldn't... Because yeah. your voice is breaking up. Ije, we couldn't hear you. Rajesh, you should like how you are just starting from one point. Huh? So maybe you should also take us through this process. क्या आपका दिमाग में क्या चल रहा है मतलब आप कहाँ से when you so see an artwork is, yeah uh, yeah so the idea is I try to uh, take one element as my starting point and uh, I you know move from there because I feel like if I do one particular thing correct then everything will fall into place. So I start with eyes because I feel like people when they look at a person they first look at the eye you know they don't look at anything else because that's where you look when you talk to someone right or when you try to see the person um, right. or try to you know uh, engage into a conversation that's the first thing that you do you look at him right. 
So I tried to get as close as I can in the eye first, and then I move forward with the rest of the things because um, it's like for me the eye is a, is a one inch of a scale of a ruler, and then I measure the rest of the face with that inch. Uh, am I making sense? Yes. So, so, so that in your mind that composition in your sheet of paper is very clear on your canvas, you know, so you don't start and go out of that canvas. Like how you have a railway station wala story, you know, you don't have a wedding table, you don't have a wedding table, you don't have a wedding table. So, I try to make one thing that I can make the right thing, and then I'll follow that throughout my drawing and measure everything uh, comparing with that element that I did. Initially. Like once I did my did the eye, then I'll uh, you know uh, usually I'll you know, know I'll know yeah. where the nose is, where the nose right. is going coming to. Right. Yes. Right. But this is like amazing like it's very spontaneously a line say you are building to the next usually sometimes people make a structure of the overall phase then plot yahan se kaan ke paas kitna distance hai idhar se forehead ka aap aisa live ja rahe ho matlab ek se dusre isme ja rahe ho that's a very unique ha main wo nahi kar sakta matlab main karta hu lekin baad mein wapas mujhe yahi pe aana padta hai so uh, i might as well like to do it this way you know? so uh, i have seen and i have seen people uh, does the thing first pura structure bana lete and then they go for it but mere liye ye thoda aasan hota hai uh, because then i know i'm not going wrong you know because the right thing is sahi ho gaya and then i just have to follow the rest right and because it's photoshop what i can do is i can pick up the color uh, you know the with the dropper so if i need a lighter color i'll just pick up the light color from there uh, i don't have to go back to the palette to get the color like the with if i press alt i get the the dropper right so i can use that and pick up the next color so it's faster okay. okay. Ajish, would you be applying the same process of beginning with the eyes like you've done here if you were doing in a non-digital platform? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I always follow the same uh, same rule because if I don't if I don't recognize the recognize that person uh, with the eyes itself, then my entire painting is not done yet. So I have to get the eyes correct. Once the eyes are correct, it convinces me to go for the rest. Unless it is correct, I don't go for the rest of it. I think for some reason the on on YouTube live the sketch is not the screen is not showing. 
is that right? Uh, let me no no let me see because we can see Rajesh full screen. <laughs> we uh, shared screen is not coming on YouTube. Right. But you can see it there, this, right? Yeah, we can see it on Zoom, but for some reason it's not showing up on YouTube. And I am on because I did not change any uh, mode. Uh, no, no, you continue, Rajesh. We'll 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 figure this. Should I just go with the Photoshop only uh, as a sharing screen, or uh, the uh, Cinti? All together, I think I should just go with the with Photoshop. Should be good, yes. Yeah. Oh, now I can see. Yes, it. yes, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I think it's it's coming. You know, the, the Photoshop screen is also coming. Okay, good. Oh yes, it's showing up well on YouTube. I was wrong. Rajesh, my daughter, sir, आ गए हैं बाजू में सब देख रहे हैं आपका वो जो railway station वाला experience है ना वो पूरा digitally recreate हो रहा है अभी ऐसा आसपास में सब भीड़ भीड़ आ रहा है आपको थोड़ी देर में खाना आएगा आपके लिए bed बनेगा उसको बोल देना पढ़ाई नहीं करोगे तो ये सब करना है वो तुरंत छोड़ दी कि पढ़ाई So there's a, a lot of trial and error as well because sometimes you know I make changes after I do this, uh, make sure I'm going right. right. What you get wrong to recognize that also is important. Yeah, I mean to do that I have to make sure that the previous one that I did is correct. Otherwise, I will never be able to you know get that. If the eye is not correct, then the nose will go wrong. Okay. Vimal, Praveen, do you guys have anything to add? Any nostalgia happening for you guys? <laughs> uh, hope I'm audible to you. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Sorry. Yes, great. Go ahead. So, so this particular gesture of Philip Kumar, no, this actually reminds of exactly the people in Howren Sialda station because most of uh, these guys would keep on looking at the TV out there, huh? 
<laughs> so eyes will be up there <laughs> so <laughs> and uh, yeah when I mean, uh, and provinda i used to draw provinda so many times you know in, in hostel in um, in everywhere and provinda become the model when i was uh, in nid okay yeah so, <laughs> question common aa gaya tha mujhe nid entrance exam i was the model NID. yes ah. nid entrance exam pravin mishra was my model so i got a common question so i could draw him you know with closing my eyes as well by the time <laughs> cheating tha <laughs> cheating bata na abhi mgd nayak ko jab phone karke ki excuse me just figure out question paper pehle hi leak ho gaya tha leak ho gaya tha pehle aur ye nahi hai we want the exam please लेके आ गए थे हम लोग पहले भेज दिया था वी केम तो वाइल राजेश इज ड्राइंग लेट मी आई आल्सो शेयर अदर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ राजेश व्हिच इज नॉट वेरी पॉपुलरली नोन अराउंड अभिमान प्लीज यस यस प्रवीण प्लीज संभाल के रिकॉर्ड हो रहा है हां ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम ओके सो सो राजेश He was a student, like you know. For uh, I was one year senior to him at Government Art College, and also at NID later on. Uh, and uh, uh, so the other aspect was uh, uh, when I was in fourth year, Rajesh was in third year, and that is the time for the students' election union. And I became the general secretary then. And we did a lot of uh, 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 tamasha, and I think Rajesh is the one who actually the the results were coming out. He actually put me up on his uh, shoulders. and uh, he walked through the staircase to right out never forget that he actually he was as big uh, then also uh, <laughs> i was in a so yeah so that was on incident but what has happened but very interestingly he worked very closely and next year he became the general secretary of the students union again uh, of of government art college so he did a lot of good he and Uh, for the college, uh, we had some of the best, uh, most successful exhibition, annual exhibitions, and everything that happened. So this is also another aspect. Though he was extremely skilled, and no uh, less uh, than Bimal or or Pradeep Toh uh, and other people who had come from there. But uh, uh, I think uh, the something about Rajesh was like he, as he mentioned today, uh, he actually puts his hundred percent every time, and that I've seen even the smallest of the work that. you know he gets engaged he he kind of shuts everything off and just finishes that that's one real good uh, aspect of rajesh that uh, i would just like to mention yeah and it must have been difficult to carry him on the shoulders no when he won <laughs> no no i carried pravin pravin that didn't carry me rajesh was But kind of later yeah bimal yeah. राजेश वॉज काइंड ऑफ ग्रेट वर्ल्ड ऑफ गवर्नमेंट आर्ट कॉलेज मतलब हम लोग को प्रोटेक्ट करके रखते थे कुछ भी प्रॉब्लम होगा राजेश को बुलाओ <laughs> और राजेश आ भी जाता है ना <laughs> मुर्गी है ना एक ही मुर्गी मिला के <laughs> मुर्गा पुलिस स्टेशन में पुलिस को डराना होता था राजेश आ जाता था <laughs> हाँ यूजली यू नो समाइम्स वो रेट वेट होता था स्टेशन में तो हम लोग चले जाते थे फिर फोन जाता था हॉस्टल में बुला ले बुला ले हावड़ा स्टेशन से हॉस्टल वॉज वेरी क्लोज बाय तो हाफ एन आवर में पहुंच जाते थे पूरा गैंग आके पुलिस स्टेशन में so when rajesh was talking about that security uniform in canada my first thought went on to the train incident where he became the police officer and he had to hush down the others the story that you shared last time i thought canada mein bhi uska ek chhota sa hulka sa possibility dikhai diya tha aapko so maybe uniform rakh diye hote na wo paise jo pehle ka you need to show the identity card you can actually wear the uniform inside locations like that एक्चुअली मैंने वही बोला था देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन सिक्योरिटी गार्ड सो आई सेट बिकॉज आई एम बिग एंड स्केरी सो 
people would get scared of you and they said no no don't do that <laughs> if anything happens just call 911 don't try to show any bravery they don't be the hero so yeah it was fun do you still have the uh, government art college id card probably have it somewhere i don't know <laughs> Maybe we'll try it out and see if it works in Canada. Who knows? Some ID might just work. But uh, uh, Bimal, when you guys work together as uh, as 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 artists, as fellow filmmakers, as designers, was was there any kind of a difference in exchange of ideas that used to happen in your art college days? Then, when you come to the NID days, you're talking about film. Then you were talking about still images. But that exchange still continues, right? Yes, yes, definitely. See, Rajesh was always, a, you know, inspiration because his work speaks a lot. I mean, you don't have to explain anything further. So, but the his uh, all station sketches, figure drawings, like all are superb. Like from the beginning of the like. from first year onwards only we able to see the the masterpieces and and the good thing about this uh, you know art college thing is everybody was uh, show show their work and get a good feedback you know that was like a very uh, positive feedback everybody would give their own thoughts and everything so nobody would you know say i don't know or i don't want to say so it was a very uh, fruitful discussion i would say very positive but discussion ra- but rajesh ke kaam mein koi feedback nahi aata tha may <laughs> <laughs> especially uh, uh, if you are able to hear me again uh, the hostel days uh, were very important like uh, while being in the hostel in the evening is to be a great uh, uh inyo should come and look at all the sketches that you have done in howran cell the station or maybe anywhere else like if you are doing study then it could be outdoor study anywhere and if you are doing just figure drawings then like station was the place where we used to do it uh, together so unless you do certain numbers uh, there was there used to be punishment by the seniors right? that that was one kind of culture that had and What uh, kind of So punishment is to all kinds, by the way. Like uh, some definitely used to be very brutal, also. <laughs> But anyway, you know, you, you get to used to that, and and uh, later you realize that you can't it also. You need to push yourself and get more uh, drawing was very important. And in terms of quality, they would uh, uh, kind of everybody would say relax on the uh, chalky, and then they would just give it back. So this is very similar to how NID jury happens. but uh, the only thing is like you know nid jury people say, like um, maintaining their language and all there <laughs> at hostel is very different so that's one uh, but uh, in terms of uh, seniors would uh, later call the juniors and say okay i'll do something and then they would actually give demonstrations so that was very very important at uh, the hostel and uh, those who uh, have that background and then get into animation or design i think it always helps because you know you are uh, Mm, at least confident one way even if you struggle like both i think all of us struggled when we came to nid in terms of uh, people used to speak english we took some time to understand at least a year uh, to be able to com- be comfortable with that uh, atmosphere and all but that that struggle happened with all of us like uh, i would say all of us came from government uh, art college or maybe people came from other art colleges also uh, where english was not language but it, you pick up that but at least you are confident one ways in terms of drawing and all so that always helps yeah like i remember me and navin used to go for a, a english spoken class in nid mgd had arranged for a english spoken class for us later on lot of people joined is it yeah <laughs> Folks, so those of you who are watching and uh, you come from animation disciplines, uh, if you have any questions regarding the process of what Rajesh is doing right now, 
uh, please feel free to uh, put up all your questions as well. It will be nice to hear directly from the other side. Silence is also very beautiful. It's like a trance, no? Just everybody is focusing on this image slowly coming up. I usually take a little more than this. Uh, like I spend uh, about an hour and a half or two. Uh, and uh, Rajesh, you're doing almost everything with the only one brush. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Photoshop is special. Yeah, this brush Photoshop special commission. Or a single layer he is using. Oh, like, single layer, my god. Hmm. <laughs> ah, like in canvas, you Amazing. don't have multiple layers, right? You only have one layer. So, Rajesh, predominantly you are using canvas or this? surface of Photoshop apart from it having a control Z and which I don't know if you've used much as of now, you're just using it just like you would use a canvas, isn't it? Yes. Right from, I'm yeah? not using any, I'm only using uh, the, you know, the flexibility of picking up a color with right. a you know, dropper and uh, sometimes if you want to do a zoom, uh, like a undo, that's right. another thing that I'm using. But apart from that, I treat it like a canvas itself. Like just like a canvas, a traditional canvas. Yeah, traditional canvas. And then I go with that. So now you must have also used uh, a lot of these uh, appropriate based kind of brushes. Have yeah, like I, I sometimes, like if I feel like it's not really going well, I try to, you know, change the direction or move it a little bit. Uh, so those things are there, but mostly, it's uh, like what I see or what I draw. And definitely, I definitely make a lot of mistakes. So please understand that this is a lot of pressure for me right now. <laughs> And I do these portraits because uh, it both then and bharas nikalte na bo. It's the you know, relief yourself with the with the portrait. Like I feel at the end of the day, after doing a portrait, I feel much better. Because sometimes oh, the yeah. kind of work that I'm doing. Sorry. I think that was some disturbance. Okay. I'm just saying like, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing anything for myself. So this portrait helps me to get back and to remind myself, you know, what I am, I am doing and what I should do. Rajesh, there is a question from Priyankan Roy. Yeah. I want to ask what are the things we need to prepare for 
if we want to apply as a storyboard artist at canada <laughs> very common question uh so in canada what happens is if you are uh, not from canada they will not entertain you to give you a job because they get a lot of tax break when they uh, give it to someone who is from canada instead of someone from outside uh, like whatever money they pay uh, to the employee they get half of the half of it from government okay so that's how they could afford to get these things done in canada instead of us so so they get a lot of tax break basically that's why they they give it to the canadians so if you have to apply as a board artist uh, you can apply as a, you know permanent visa first and that will be easier for them to decide okay and india has a lot of talent the only thing is um with the you know and there's a lot of job here in canada as well as a storyboard artist and all the other uh, areas in animation uh, we actually have a job fair happens every year and uh, people like all these companies they come up with the stalls and uh, the people go there and then they give the show in in cv okay uh i think my Let me save it. Then my computer is a bit slow right now, so save करना जरूरी है ना. Yeah, I think it's better now. We should have some Tibetan gongs or some kind of that thing playing in the background while Radish is painting. So we are doing Zen statement. Yeah. Zen or Zen Dio. Samjha nahi main. Yeah. No, we were thinking of having some background music while you were painting. So we have ah. all those very Zen like Tibetan gongs going. Oh, gong. Some bells and things like that. But it's so immersive, like like to see this thing form out from nowhere. Rajesh, many people now also we see a lot of demonstrations online available about how to go about portraits, and they have a uh, they start with painting the mid tones, then they come with painting the shadows, and then they go with painting highlights and things like that. So in your yeah. case, it's not so right. It's a very linear, straightforward process. Process starting with the uh, with the details. So details by you. Yeah, I mean everybody has their own way of working, right? So right. somebody wants to, you know, uh, get the layouts done. Like even in the storyboarding, uh, I was just telling you last time. Remember that uh, people read the script and then they go and do their own homework and do right. a lot of um, thumbnails first, and then they come up with the final version. Uh, but i do it in a different way i actually um, it's like i'm writing with the flow you know when i listen to a story or i or i read a story i'm actually being in that story at the same time I'm trying to visualize as it happens as i read it so i very i don't read read a, a, a script Uh, in an early stage when i'm working that's the time i read this uh, script and then i keep working at the same time because for me it's like a film happening right in front of me and i'm just trying to capture whatever i see at that point so it's not very pre planned for me it's the um, what do you call it 
uh, impromptu, you know, that uh, I bring on the table. And sometimes, and, and for storyboarding, there are so many options, there's so many things that you can do for one particular shot. Uh, sometimes, you know, I get confused. A lot of people get confused. So at that point, uh, I go with my gut. So whatever I feel uh, is the best at that point, I take that as a decision. And it's very difficult, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure by well, when all of you know how difficult it is to come up with a shot, which you think is the best for that particular sequence. Uh, so that is the time when I, what I see at that point when I'm reading the script, that's what I draw. I don't change it too much. So for me, reading a script is drawing a script as well, drawing a story as well. I we have a... Sorry, go on. No, I was saying, but for a lot of people, they do a, a layout first and they see where everything is happening. Uh, and they plan it out in such a way like how one person will move from this place to the other place and how that will look, you know, all those things. So it's basically up to you how much, I mean, how you want to, you are comfortable with. And there's no rule to it. I don't see there's any rule. As long as your drawing is good, as long as your work is good, follow whatever you feel. Sorry, my... Rajesh, there is another comment. Uh, I think, yeah. Uh, which is good afternoon, sir. I am Kendriya Vidyalaya art teacher. Before joining, I cracked the NID entrance exam, but suddenly I got job in Vidyalaya, and due to middle family, I was bound to join uh, this job. But now, after joining, I did a lot of digital work. I'm still working with Photoshop. So I want to ask, what is what do I have to do for storyboarding? How much labor I have to do, sir? Also, I joined joined 2009 TASI first. Okay, maybe Manifest India problem. So that's that was his question. Like, what do I have to do for storyboarding, and how much labor? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the labor is all up to the person who is doing storyboarding, right? I mean, they should know how much uh, they need to put in to get the best storyboard out of it. But for the storyboarding, initially, there is a little bit of knowledge required in terms of uh, the film language and the film theories. Uh, the language, film has its own language, as we all know, who are doing, working in film industry. Like it has its own way of telling something. Uh, if you don't know that, it's it's harder to tell a story without knowing the language. Uh, so I would encourage you to learn the language first, and then you do your own storyboards, and then keep showing it to people. And if they like your storyboard, that should be good enough. I don't know if that answers your question. I don't know how much work you need to do to do this, uh, do, do, do this, like how much hard work you need to do. But I think it's all up to you how much hard work you want to put in. So, uh, the person who asked is Dayal. You're there with us on the call, right? Ah, is it Dayal Chandra Pike? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Dayal Chandra Pike. Dayal Chandra Pike is actually my classmate from art college. Okay, lovely. Dayal, do you want to switch on your camera? Uh, sorry, sir. I'm Dayal Saw. I'm Dayal Saw. So Dayal, the only thing is like you need to know a little bit about how to tell a story um, through storyboarding. Like, there are some uh, so, things that need to uh, So because of, because, uh, sir, I just used to um, teach uh, also my student in Vidyalaya stop motion uh, about uh, stop motion because I joined uh, 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 Tashi Fist 2009. So I gained a lot of knowledge uh, 
big uh, auditorium uh, i just uh, uh, spent two days there and i got a lot of knowledge and after that uh, i cracked uh, an id so due to as i just mentioned so when uh, from uh, I, i think 10 year uh, before i joined 2011 in kendra vidyalaya and uh, just uh, uh, from that time ki mai matlab bachcho kuch aisa do jo maine tasik mein jo dekha tha mujhe bahut inspire mein hua स्टॉप मोशन वो जो बच्चा बाथरूम में बैठा हुआ है और क्ले से जो बना हुआ था इस टाइप का कुछ मैंने एनिमेशन देखा था मुझे याद आ रहा है अभी तो मैं बच्चों को लेकर के जब स्टॉप एनिमेशन जब मैं वहां पर बनाता था स्कूल में और अभी भी जब बनाता हूँ तो बच्चे मतलब आर्ट के प्रति बहुत ज्यादा वो हो जाए इंटरेस्टेड हो जाते हैं कि मतलब कुछ है इसमें डिफरेंट है ऐसा नहीं कि केवल बस आलू बैंगन बनाए स्टिल लाइफ बनाए और डेढ़ सौ हो गया वैसा नहीं तो फिर मेरे जो कुछ फ्रेंड्स का जब एन में हो गया जो मैं वहां पर ठहरा था हालांकि अंदर में ही ठहराया गया था फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट जब हम इंटरव्यू के लिए गए थे तो जिन दोस्तों का हो गया उन्होंने कहा कि ऐसा कुछ नहीं यार कि मतलब एनआईडी में रहकर ही कुछ किया जा सकता है आप बाहर भी हो अपना अगर टैलेंट है तो आप वहां पर रहकर भी आ, कुछ कर सकते हो तो उसके बाद से फिर मेरे मतलब कुछ फ्रेंड्स ने वहां से मैं नाम भूल रहा हूँ हाँ संदीप नंदी एक दोस्त है वहां पर एनआईडी में वहां से पास आउट होकर शायद भी बाहर चला गया तो उसने फिर कुछ मतलब इस तरह से मोटिवेट करता था तो मैं अभी भी स्टिल जब मैं बच्चों को पढ़ाता हूँ तो स्टार्टिंग जैसे पेंसिल से करता हूँ लेकिन एनिमेशन से रिलेटेड जब रिलेटेड जब बातें करता हूँ टू या फिर जिस तरह के मैंने मैसेज देखा था मैं लेट ज्वाइन किया मैं दो दिन से वेट कर रहा था आज के सेशन के लिए Yeah, तो ये जो चीज अभी जो देख रहा हूँ फोटोशॉप में जो काम चल रहा है रियली really, मतलब बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है और 10 साल के दौरान मैंने चार स्टूडेंट को मतलब इस सेक्टर में जाने के लिए मोटिवेट किया और वो लोग अच्छे जगह मतलब प्लेस्ड भी हैं तो मतलब हमारे टीचर भी कहते थे कि 10 इंजीनियर और इक्वल टू वन आर्टिस्ट तो इस तरह से कहा से ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं कहाँ पढ़ाते हैं सर झारखंड रांची अरे क्या बात है मैं भी खुद केंद्रीय विद्यालय का छात्र रहा हूँ और ये सुनकर बहुत ही बढ़िया लगा कि आप बच्चों को एनिमेशन सिखा रहे हैं स्टॉप मोशन सिखा रहे हैं तो बहुत बढ़िया काम आप कर रहे हैं आ, आ, सर आपने मेरे कंधे पे हाथ भी रखा था और मैं फोटो भी खिंचाई आपके साथ अगर मैं देख पाऊंगा <laughs> जी जी याद है आप जैसे कि थे वैसे भी अभी आज भी दिखते हो <laughs> और आपका सर पोर्ट्रेट बनाया गया था वो एक आर्टिस्ट जो आए थे मतलब वहाँ पर जी 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 विजय राउत विजय राउत आए थे और धोनी जी थे मैं भी था आई थिंक उन्होंने उन्होंने भी ऐसा ही एक डेमो दिया था और उन्होंने एक एक आम आदमी को लाया था जिसने साउंड क्रिएट किया था हॉलीवुड मूवी का साइड से जी कूद करके तो सर मुझे मतलब है तो ये बहुत बढ़िया है जो आप जो आप जिसने इंस्पायर किया है वो चीज आप शेयर कर रहे हैं आपके स्टूडेंट्स बड़े लकी हैं मैं कहूंगा यस सर ये सर हालांकि ये तो सभी आर्टिस्ट बोलते हैं कि मतलब स्टूडेंट सच में मतलब बहुत लकी हैं कि मैं उनको ये सब चीज बता पा रहा हूँ और वो सर मैं देखा भी हूँ कि मतलब साइंस स्ट्रीम लेकर के भी मतलब आर्ट की तरफ गए हैं और बहुत अच्छा किए वो बहुत अच्छा किए वो है ना डेली में या फिर बेंगलुरु में है मतलब रामू जी में है तो मतलब बहुत अच्छा लगता है और मुझे लगता है सर ये लैक ऑफ नॉलेज है पेरेंट्स का और बहुत सारे पेरेंट्स का नहीं मतलब ऐसा नहीं कि मतलब जो पेरेंट्स ज्यादा पढ़े लिखे नहीं है जो पढ़े लिखे हैं उनमें भी ये प्रॉब्लम है सर कि ये आर्ट को लेकर के उनका थोड़ा सा कंसेप्ट दूसरा होता है उनका कंसेप्ट मतलब ऐसा होता है कि क्या करेगा जाकर के है ना फाइनली मतलब क्या करेगा जाकर के और मैं हाँ मैं तो मैं तो केवी में पढ़ा भी हूँ मैं तो केवी टॉपर भी रहा हूँ प्लस टू लेकिन ओनली माय फादर टोल्ड मी कि तुम्हारा जो मन करता वही करना मतलब तो बाद में पछताओगे फिर मत बोलना कि नहीं सो क्या किया तो एक फादर ही थी जो उन्होंने ऐसा कहा तो बाकी सब ने कहा कि तू जा रहा है तो प्लेट नंबर लिखे <laughs> तो ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर में सर जॉब लग गई उसके बाद से सर मैं मतलब अभी फोटोशॉप में काम करता हूँ सर मतलब जब भी टाइम मिलता है मैं रात को अब तो बच्चे हैं तो रात को काम करता हूँ लेकिन करता हूँ मतलब छोड़ता नहीं हूँ सर तो काम चलता रहता है कोई छोटा थमनेल देख पा रहा हूँ थैंक यू <laughs> 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 मेबी अभी ये डेमो खत्म हो जाए फिर हम आप 
फुल स्क्रीन शेयर कीजिएगा बाद में यस सर हाँ ये ताशी का ही सर ये हॉल था मुझे याद है अभी भी मैं वहाँ पर गया था ये ये शायद आईआईटी में था पवई में हाँ 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 आईआईटी में था मुझे याद है वहाँ ही पड़ता पापा फोटो खिंचवाने के लिए सब लोग दौड़ रहे थे पीछे पीछे दौड़ गए चलो यार कभी ना कभी तो शायद इस काम आएगा फोटो में तो सर अभी भी डेस्कटॉप पे सर कुछ ऐसी तस्वीरें हैं जिसको देखकर इंस्पायर होता हूँ मैं मतलब ऐसा है कि काम को देख करके और हर चीज को देख करके क्योंकि मुझे लगता है जहां ना जहाँ आर्टिस्ट सर सबसे अलग होते हैं मैं अभी भी सोचता हूँ आर्टिस्ट सबसे अलग ही होते हैं आपका लड़का भी देख रहा है लाइव सही है पापा पूरे दीवारों पर सर वो चीज रखा है वो और एंड में सेशन के एंड में आपको स्पॉटलाइट करेंगे ताकि राजेश भी आपको आपसे मिल सके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू टाइम कितना बचा है आप क्योंकि मुझे थोड़ा टाइम और लगेगा सो आई थिंक अगले दस मिनट में जहां तक ला सकते हैं लाके देन वी शुड प्रोबेबली नो देन मे बी वी शुड जो रहेगा वील पुट अप ऑन आवर साइट लेट ऑन टू फॉर आवर ऑडियंस टू सी के कहां शुरुआत हो रहा है आई आई विल फिनिश इट बाय देन आई सो राजेश टेल मी समथिंग डू यू डू दिस लाइक यू स्टार्ट अ पोर्ट्रेट लाइक अभी आप ये बना रहे हो और ये जहां तक हुआ एक सेशन में आपने किया डू यू पिक दिस अप लेटर एंड फिनिश इट और डज इट फील कि नहीं तब जो था वही है नहीं नहीं आई फिनिश आई फिनिश इट and then i go to sleep so i don't right. uh, leave it alone that's right. right 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 because if i leave it and all then you know uh, sab bhul jaunga wapas shuru karna padega right now to start all over again so anyway uh, i think we should uh, you know stop it here and then we can uh, i can finish it later on and because there are certain things that i have to do which might take a long time right, right. like that time pressure is always a little you know yeah i don't a, want to block a... in this time pressure because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. i want to finish it uh, and do it correctly so i'll have to do some more stuff and more measurements to make yes sure that yes that you have to be satisfied <laughs> yeah I'll... till you are satisfied no it little ho aapko sone nahi dega एग्जाम होता है ना की लास्ट में आपका जो मेन इम्पोर्टेंट है उसको आप जल्दी फिनिश करके करते हो तो हम लोग सब वही देख रहे हैं की जो लास्ट आप क्या चीज आपके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है की अगर आपको अभी एक मिनट सिक्सटी सेकंड्स का काउंटडाउन है तो क्या चीज आप किस लेवल पे करोगे कि छोटे से पहले मेरा जो इम्पोर्टेंट है वो बैकग्राउंड बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है मेरे लिए क्योंकि ये बैकग्राउंड काफी पोर्ट्रेट को हाईलाइट करता है सो विदाउट अ गुड बैकग्राउंड ये पोर्ट्रेट इज नॉट पेंटिंग it's not a photograph right in and i don't want to create another photograph i want to make it look like a painting so uh, once you are happy once you are done with this no rajesh then we'll put it up on the website yes so yeah, yeah. everyone to you can also it, share uh, it on your facebook page uh, and tag tasi on so that we can it's lovely to see the process फोटोग्राफी <clears throat> i had picked up a different portrait and picking up the right image is also very important uh koi bhi portrait man jo portrait karta hai uh, they should know which portrait which image you know apply, appeals the most uh, as a character so yeah because there are certain images like certain photographs that doesn't look like that person even if it is that person's photograph um doesn't give the 100% you know um 
Something happened, something moved. Rajesh, don't, don't rush it. Don't rush it. We'll... Yeah, double over. I think uh, Rajesh, you just want to duplicate. Take layer, layer, layer. Layer, layer, layer. Yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all. Yeah, you have to just close one of the layers. One layer, you have duplicate. Hmm. That's why you're having that. Tony Ji has said that so 10% credit for image selection. Rajesh, after you finish it, you have to send it to JPEG email. We will upload it to the high-res. Super. Tribute to Dilip Kumar. Yes. Signed and dated. Oof. Tony Ji is just prompting one thing. Oof. Must have. After your film screening, you have to send it to the autograph. वैसे एक मस्त ऑटोग्राफ करके हम लोग को भेज दो ठीक है आई थिंक आई शुड स्टॉप इट हियर एंड आई विल सेंड इट टू यू यस ठीक है मैं राजेश भाई थैंक यू वेरी वेरी मच ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस हियर दैट यू Spend such a delightful time. This also this almost meditative session of painting. I wish this would go on and on and on forever. But एक एक तो हम सबका एक point तो ये रहेगा कि हम लोग जब when we were back to the physical world, when we are back to the good old days of meeting up, and we do get to do our physical sessions in person, तब आपको हम ऐसे timing करके बुलाएंगे कि आप तो इंडिया में हो and we would do one live session with you, with the audience, with all the energies that we can. So that would be a real treat for everybody. Definitely, definitely. Um, and thank you, everyone, for being with me and listening Hi. to my stories. And uh, thanks, Kasi. Thanks uh, again, Viva and uh, Prashanjita and Tony sir. I just may be suppose spotlight karo so that they can all. Aapko. Anyone? Hey, Kadivai. Kadivai is on his way to Ahmedabad right now. Hey. Hi Kadir boy. Wonderful watching you drawing. Beautiful talk. Thank you. So that says Vic. Vic, where are you joining us from? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. I'm up from Shillong. Oh, lovely. Meghalaya. How's the weather there? Must be very nice. It's raining here right now. And what's your full name? My name is actually I'm. Um, uh, my name is Rahul Surong, but okay. uh, usually I'm Vicky for for some. Okay. 
ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग ये देखो पुराना पापी नवीन हाय ये कौन है समझ में नहीं आ रहा है ना राजेश वो नहीं है <laughs> देखा लग रहा है कहीं पे <laughs> ऊपर का दिख रहा है नीचे का पता नहीं चल रहा बंगाली एक बार एक बार सुनना चाहिए नवीन बंगाली में राजेश के लिए एक मैसेज बोलो <laughs> खूब बोलो काज दादा थैंक यू यू नो नवीन हैज अ स्पेशलिटी लाइक इन एन आई डी यू वुड से इन बंगाली यू वुड से हे हाउ यू and i'm like shocked how does he know bengali and then the <laughs> next thing he would say what do you think i don't know bengali in bengali only okay so <laughs> i'm even more shocked and then if i tell him anything he was like i only know this much na sikha hai wo utna sikha hai bade effective hai matlab ekdam bade effective hai ek to pehle establish kar diya ki dekho aata hai uske baad koi kuch bhi nahi sakta ki pata nahi hai na एक तो ये सर बोलने की आदत छोड़ दो यार वी आर नॉट नाइटेड पीपल अंग्रेज चले गए क्वीन इज गॉन लेट द इंग्लिश बी हैप्पी विद देयर सर एंड मैडम्स एंड लेडीज धोनी जी आप भी आप भी बंगाली में बोल दो एक जवाब खूब भालो खूब भालो थैंक यू थैंक यू सुपर अप सुपर अप लवली सेशन थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर टाइम आई एम श्योर दिस इज इन आवर आर्काइव्स इज गोइंग टू बी अ वंडरफुल यू नो एडिशन थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर सेंडिंग द पिक्चर टू मी एज़ वेल सोमी राजेश यू रिमेंबर सोमी नो ओ या हाय सोमी Rajesh, uh, Somi is also currently in teaching Kolkata. in SRFDI. Yeah, we know. Yes, I know. We so Rajesh, Kolkata, come. 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 Come it's a very lovely opportunity to rewind whatever we have seen in our in school <laughs> and, and more more uh, new additions and anecdotes really nice see there are a lot of work which i cannot share uh, I, I online uh, yeah so i mean if when it comes on on tv or whatever you can get to see right now i'm working for uh, sonic prime you know sonic uh, hedgehog uh, so they are coming up with another tv series so i'm working for that mm. it's really a comes. great opportunity for us who are sitting down here and uh, looking towards great work which is happening somewhere else it says you are the bridge between us thank you so much here we go it was a very wonderful well, session matlab thank you bahut sare cheez taaza ho gaye याद है ताज़ा हो सो आई थिंक मैंने बोला था ट्रेन से उतर मत ही वाज़ द वन हु बीन टेलिंग मी लेट्स गेट डाउन फ्रॉम द ट्रेन लेट्स गो बैक होम वेयर आर वी दैट वाज़ द फर्स्ट टाइम वी आर आउट ऑफ कलकत्ता आई मीन अपार्ट फ्रॉम आवर ट्रेकिंग टू यू नो यू आर गोइंग फॉर यू नो फॉर दैट लॉन्गर सो फार अवे या या So and I'm never this like almost other side of the country. Hi, <laughs> Shisha. Uh, hello, sir. I'm um, Shisha, and I'm a student of Navin Ramanand Sir from uh, Achyar School of Design, Bangalore. And Bangalore. Okay, okay Navin, Navin student. Yes, sir. Navin sir student. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Thanks Thank for joining. Thanks for joining. Yes, sir. Thanks for joining. Great listening to your story also, and seeing your great work also. Thank you so much. और गो दादा हाय और गो योर इन म्यूट योर टू अन म्यूट योर सो हेलो राजेश हाय आर यू 
Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Nice, nice. Thank you. Great. ये सब लोग these are people who switched on their their camera. So <laughs> इनको सब these are the ones that I can spotlight. If कोई छूटा नहीं है ना अभी सबको short tag कर दिया और last में हमारे आज के सूत्रधार and uh we are going to have the second session which is the episode 2 of shridhar pops you know he was like an ad, ad guru we had uh, i think a week ago or i think 10 days ago we had a session with shridhar pops and his the remaining part of his journey like how we did with rajesh you know, so we're not going to rush it so the the second part of pops journey will be covered uh pj do we do we have the date as yet or we'll be announcing that the the, the second episode of pops i don't think we have the date yet no right right so i think once the speaker confirms we'll be sharing that also for everybody's information so so we so get all folks in guys for for all these sessions get your folks in whoever are there sabko leke aao these are such delightful people to interact with so thank you thank you all once again rajesh thank you very very much maza aa gaya ekdam aur ekdam dilip kumar जी रेडी होते आप भेजिए हमें एंड वील अपडेट ऑल द पोस्ट सेशन इवेंट स्टिल्स ऑन आवर वेबसाइट आल्सो डेफिनेटली थैंक यू सो मच गाइस थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग एवरीबॉडी टेक केयर हैव अ नाइस डे एंड लेट्स गो फॉरवर्ड टू द विमेंबर फाइनल्स बाय बाय दे एक मिनट दयाल जी को स्पॉटलाइट नहीं किया एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट ये देखिए एक मिनट ये देखिए तब शायद आपका कैमरा ऑफ था थैंक यू राजेश सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच चलिए बढ़िया बहुत बढ़िया बाय बाय एवरीवन बनाए रखिएगा डेफिनेटली थैंक यू सो मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस थैंक यू ऑल बाय बाय साइनिंग आउट बाय थैंक यू थैंक यू राजेश थैंक यू